preparation of a textile material is a complex process and should ensure that colours do not run or cross stain onto adjacent materials or change or lose colour. This applies to fabrics as well as the garment when subjected to the appropriate cleansing procedure. We shall look at the effects of colour fastness to washing where a sample of fabric is subjected to a prescribed washing process using a standard detergent solution in order to assess the ability of the dye to withstand the effects of a detergent during a specified time, temperature and washing action. Two aspects to be evaluated, the change or loss of colour and the cross staining onto the adjacent fibres. The latter being important when multicoloured garments are washed which may have light and dark coloured parts used in the design. The colour fastness to washing of a textile material is determined by treating a test specimen in a specific detergent at a specific temperature and liquor ratio for a given time. The specimen is attached to a standard multi-fibre strip so that the colour staining as well as the shade change can be assessed. The machine used is referred to as a wash wheel and contains several stainless steel pots which hold the test specimen and detergent solution and the pots rotate in a controlled temperature water bath for a set time and speed. A test specimen 100 by 40 millimetres is cut from the sample provided and attached to a similar size piece of multi-fibre strip. The required temperature for the wash wheel is set and run for a short time to preheat the pots. The detergent solution is prepared and heated to the required temperature. The pots are removed from the wash wheel, test specimens placed in each pot, the appropriate amount of detergent solution poured into each pot and the pots replaced into the machine. The lid is closed, the correct temperature is checked, the time of the test run checked and the machine is switched on. When the machine stops the test specimens are immediately removed and placed in beakers of water, then rinsed under running water for a given time. The excess water is removed by squeezing, then the specimen along with the multi-fibre strip is placed on a plastic covered mesh tray to dry. The specimens are laid out so that the multi-fibre strip is not in contact with its test specimen. When dry, the degree of staining and changing shade are assessed using the prescribed viewing cabinet under specified lighting condition. The staining on the multi-fibre strip is compared to the colour fastness staining grayscales and a grade given from 1 to 5 for each of the 6 fibres in the strip. The change in shade of the test specimen is compared to an original unwashed specimen using the colour fastness shade change grayscales and a grade given from 1 to 5.